my entire life I haven't been so afraid during a flight. We're flying from Iraq it's to not Lebanon. We are every time afraid. So we're flying from Iraqi to Lebanon over Syria. Lebanon is the first country Adrian and Alexandria are visiting without them actually planning to go there. Lebanon was intended to just be a stopover on the way to Syria, but due to the fact that the very last minute they did not receive a Syrian entry visa, they had to come up with a solution. So they decided to visit Lebanon. Let's see what this country has to offer during a two-day visit. Very interesting, it's written, everything is written in English and in French also. They are good friends. Looks like they are good friends. It's my 53rd country for me and the 35th country for Alexandra, Lebanon. Because you came unexpectedly to Lebanon, we will try to make something like a daily vlog without very much uh, editing and stuff. Just we're taking it like it is. Crazy traffic. It's and about our accommodation. And about our accommodation, 400, 400 euros for three nights, and we came here and nobody knows about our reservation. Yeah, five stars. Yeah, five star resort. And there are some junkies here smoking, I think something and playing guitar and it's, it's a very liberal country okay. yeah. we'll when it's called studio on booking agencies oh, it's 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 like a it's long powerful. it's like a long ish room I know, I don't with a small bed you. with a small bed which can be opened for sleep and You've got everything you need in this cupboard. There is another room, anymore. but at least, baby, you have a beautiful balcony. Look, uh -huh. you can watch the pool. Hi, back at the fact, yeah. Yeah, that's totally okay. Like, no, no, no. And the best part, we chose our hotel to be not far away from the airport. But yeah, it looks like we will have a happy night every hour. So after the first shock, after uh, taking considerations that the prices are quite high, we can say that Lebanon is quite cool. It's uh, parties all evening until late in the night. At 9 o'clock uh, a.m. we went to take breakfast, to have breakfast and nobody was there because everybody's uh, sleeping late. And yeah, for if you're young and you've, if you've got money and if you want to party and to have a lot of fun, you can definitely come to Lebanon. Something very unusual for them, the two actually decided to spend a day sunbathing at the seaside. A nightmare for Adrian. Oh, and a sunbed costs 25 US dollar extra, even if you're a guest at the resort. Stubborn as he is, after three hours, Adrian convinced his wife that everyday holiday means a lot more than just getting sunburned at the resort. So they left the place in search of new adventure. So we rented a car, 40 euros for one day, 150 kilometers, but guess what? They've blocked it. Alexandria just found out that the best remedy for chaotic traffic caused headaches are some fresh fruits. The Lebanese love the cedar trees so much that they have one on their flag, so it was way too predictable what our couple was going to be choosing to visit first. Very beautiful country, superb mountain roads, but the traffic is horrible. 
Because Lebanon has a lot of mountains, there's a lot of cedar forest nature reserves. One of the closest and the largest biosphere reserve to Beirut is the Al Shuf Reserve. After a long way through what looked like an endless village, all the people and cars suddenly disappeared. Adrian and Alexandria were now in the quiet and mysterious landscape of unique beauty. Tourism here is very organized. The pathways are well marked and preserved. The cedar is an evergreen tree that belongs to the family of pines. The term cedar tree is sometimes used to describe different species of plants. The representative for Lebanon are those with the canopy in the shape of a pyramid. Here the cedars are the symbol of tolerance and immortality. Cedarwood is used to manufacture various things all the way from weapons to furniture. The oil extracted from the cedar was used for mummification in ancient Egypt. Native Americans even used this oil as mosquito repellent. Legend has it that the Lebanese cedar was used for the ships of Alexander the Great and for the construction of King Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. Cedar can survive for more than 300 years in the wild. If you are romantic and a natural lover, you can literally... The right place. And if you're romantic, you can get a kiss from a mm, beautiful girl. It's already late afternoon and Alexandra can't wait to get back to Beirut as she's heard that at night, Lebanon's capital is the perfect party place. Looks nice, but not exactly what we had expected. Where has the old town gone? I searched with Google Maps Souk, it's a traditional bazaar, and we are here in something very modern, like yeah, a mall, they have a lot of and Cinema City, and yes, Zara, Gucci. <laughs> So now we found out why uh, Beirut is called Little Paris. Why? Because of the architecture. It's like in Paris. No kidding. French is widely spoken in this country, and that's why you're going to be seeing a lot of French tourists here. Prices are accordingly high, and Adrian finds out that Lebanon's nickname, Switzerland of the Middle East, isn't just because of the mountains. A pizza margarita or a hamburger costs between 10 and 15 euros. Yikes! Way overpriced, even for Alexandria. In 200 meters, turn left onto Chatora Saleh Highway. Today we're full of energy. <laughs> okay, so today is a brand new day. We're full of energy. We're driving to um, one of most visited uh, touristical sites in Lebanon, the Baalbek Roman ruins. They're selling also barbecue there. Uh, it sounds like a beer brand to me, but whatever. In uh, ancient times, they've called the town Heliopolis, the town of the sun. And we're on the famous Beirut Damascus Highway. Yeah. We're going to Syria. Oh, we're going not to Syria because we haven't got our visa. Mm. And on this highway, which is the most strange, craziest highway we've ever seen. Yeah, you can drive also with 80 per hour. 80 kilometers an hour, but everybody's driving 60 and the traffic is hellish. So... Our lovely couple must have been really crazy to choose to drive on one of the world's most crowded roads. So it's incredible. 
incredible from three lanes it's getting only one and if you don't have the guts to be fast and to be the first you're losing your position you're staying like half an hour for 10 meters Tanks and military troops represent something really common around here. After a while, you get used to them and it won't feel strange anymore. I just invented the joke. Why in Iraq and in Lebanon, there's not much police on the street? Because there's too much military and they don't have place. <laughs> Alexandria was thinking that spending three hours in traffic just to travel 100 kilometers was a waste of time but well worth spending in Adrian's opinion. They are finally at the famous Roman ruins of Baalbek. A medieval Islamic legend states that this place has been built by a jinn and it belonged to the wise King Solomon. More than that, it was a wedding gift for the Queen of Sheba. As you know, many ancient cities and towns were always named after gods, and this town was no different. During the Greek and Roman times, this strategically infertile place was called Helopolis because it was used to worship Helios, the god of the sun. ancient time here was an oracle. Even the famous emperor Trajan was here twice to ask something the oracle. And the first time, legend says, he was here, he put into the oracle an empty papyrus. The second day when he went to took the papyrus with the answer from the gods, he was very amazed to see that the papyrus remained blank. This temple will forever be one of my favorite names. The Temple of Jupiter had 59 huge Corinthian columns initially, but eight were, let's say, borrowed by the Byzantine Emperor Justina for the building of the Hagia Sophia in what is now Istanbul. A lot of the remaining ones were either destroyed in earthquakes and or wars, one of those wars being between Israel and Lebanon in 2006. The second most impressive monument here is the Temple of Bakuas, probably built by a name that sounds like it's from Harry Potter, Emperor Septimius Severus, around 200 AD. This place also tells a lot of middle-aged stories with Muslims and Crusaders. This site also has gigantic blocks of marble and granite and is very impressive. And even though there are better preserved Roman ruins around the world, I think we can all agree after what we saw, Baalbek was worth the journey. A burning sun and scorching heat is going to make anyone very hungry and thirsty. And for our travelers, there's only one remedy, a Lebanese tablu salad. Well, nothing is better on this heat than um, tabula Lebanese salad. It has only tomatoes and parsley. Ah and a little bit of or of lemon juice, and of course, with Lebanese bread. On the way back, they're having a lot of mm, fun on the unforgettable road, which connects Lebanon and Syria. So that was pretty much Lebanon. It's finished. A lot of fun, uh, interesting yeah, nightlife, parties, uh, parties uh, <laughs> and a lot of natural places, yeah. beautiful places and historical sites, but the downsides, very, very heavy traffic and very yeah. expensive. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell. Bye bye. bye. Hey, everyday holiday. Thank you guys so much for letting me do this. This was a bunch of fun. I'm glad you guys had a fun and safe, definitely safe trip.